the 10th anniversary celebration of Tabernacle of David, Headquarter Church of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Lagos Province 46, is not about what has been attained, but about stewardship of talents and resources and running to win the Christian race. The theme, running to win, is a very interesting theme because uh, God gave me that word. That if you are looking at Tabernacle of David and you are measuring how far we have come with the usual metrics. What's the size of the church? Oh, we can say we belong to a family of, a papa family in RCCG. There are 1,000 parishes in that family. We will be one of the top five in terms of our size. If you're looking at the infrastructure on the ground, what God has allowed us to be able to do, we will say the church has done very well. The question is, is that the way God looks at us? Life is a race, and God is the umpire. He decides whether your own race is a marathon or a sprint. So the idea of running to win is that, look, don't look at the common metrics. Each person has a race to run, and God is the ultimate person that decides. So we as a church should look beyond what we see now and run our race. The vision is that every member of Tabernacle of David run the Christian race with a sense of responsibility and obligation to pass on the baton. As members of Tabernacle of David, I want you to look at yourself as an individual. What race do I have to run? That race is personal to me. The questions God has set for me are different from the questions he has set for my neighbor. I want them to look at themselves, <clears throat> that you are unique, you are individual, God has brought you here, you have a purpose, just serve that purpose and finish well and finish strong. I was born in TOD. I am committed to win as many souls as possible for Christ. I am running to win. I've been a member of TOD since 2008. I am running the race. I joined TOD since 2011. I'm committed to running to win. In its 10 years of existence, Tabernacle of David, also called TOD, stand as a true testament to the power, favor, and miraculous work of the Almighty God in its different seasons of church life. In September 2010, Pastor Kayode and Femi Kwitong embraced the call to Pastor Tabernacle of David Aja. When they arrived, construction of TOD Church Complex was still work in progress. They immediately set out to completing all building works, transforming Tabernacle of David to a church where new converts can develop relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, where Christians grow their passion and where everyone could diligently love, worship, and serve Christ and have passion for souls. We have come a long way in a very short period. It is grace. In the last 10 years, God has been extremely good to Tabernacle of David. This was a parish that was started as a house fellowship. In those 10 years, this particular location, you know, the land was purchased. In the last uh, five of those ten years, I've been here as pastor. I've also seen God move. The membership has increased from 850 to about 2,500. The phases one and two of our building projects were completed. Uh, we have a campus now of Ryla, that Dimas International Leadership Academy. We have a campus of School of Disciples. We've been able to plant seven parishes, four in Nigeria and three overseas. We are very active in community development. Uh, and there are many other things that God has helped us to do. Also, we became a province, you know, in nine years. You know, we are one year now as a, as, as a province. So there is no doubt, no matter how you look at it or how you measure the metrics, God has been extremely good to this parish in the last 10 years.
Pastor Kayode's focus of building a befitting worship center for God is not limited to TOD, Aja. Tabernacle of David's Mission Church in Burundi, East Africa, has also benefited from the passion of a man affectionately described as the builder. By God's grace, the one in Burundi were able to help them to purchase land and actually build a purpose-built church, which was completed, you know, this year. You know, we are working on helping Bulgaria uh, to purchase their own property. You know, they are already making inquiries. Uh, and Ghana, they have a temporary place they are using, uh, but they bought land. Ultimately, Ghana also wants to build. Uh, we have virtually completed most of our building projects as at now in Tobacco of in Lagos. So the next phase is to reach out and help our mission parishes to build also for the Lord. I also see the Tabernacle of David and Lagos, Nigeria has been supporting both my family and the church spiritually and financially. It bought a land, built an ultra-modern church building, and fully paid for the custom duty of the church bus. Our mission work is fully supported by RCCD TOD Nigeria. TOD has been of tremendous support. I remember when we, uh, when we were sent out December 2013, had very, very huge support in terms of the prayer, you know, that, that came from Tabernacle of David, you know, and then also the church supported us with equipment, um, with sound equipment, with um, the resources that we needed to have our hall in place. And then more importantly, we got some workers from TOD that helped us to stabilize, you know, the parish when, when we started up. I have the testimony that uh, one of the sisters testified this October. She testified how she was about to kill herself. She was about to commit suicide. That was during the first or second month we planted the church. And she came to the service. She had the word of God. And she went back home with the love of Christ and decided not to kill herself, deciding to leave that she has met with Jesus Christ. And from that day, she testified that things begin to get better and she begins to feel the joy of the Lord in her heart. She's restored. She's been delivered. If for that woman alone, TOD is in Bulgaria, we give God all the glory. The passion to build for God has been made possible, firstly, by grace. Secondly, the generous contribution of TOD members, friends and well-wishers. And thirdly, the transparent stewardship of Pastor Coyote. This church, God has been extremely good to us. We bought this land, over 10,000 square meters of land. We have built our auditorium that can sit about 2,000 people. We have built the lighthouse, the multi-purpose event center that can accommodate 1,500 people. We have the admin building. We bought our bus. We have two smaller buses, apart from the coastal bus. We have done the work, you know, around the premises of the church. You know, we have everywhere paved now. The Jubilee Fund is the remaining part of the funds that we used to do most of this work. At the time, it was 200 million. I said, let us set up Jubilee Fund. As soon as funds come in, we let members know, to let them know where we are and to know how much more we have to raise. The idea is for the church to be totally debt free by the end of this year. By the time the fund was set up, we we're trying to raise 200 million to pay off all our contractors, the banks, as of today, people have redeemed uh, about 50 million. So we are now about 150 million. And we thank all the members who are part of the Jubilee Fund. So this money is just going straight to pay off the debt of the church. And I'm trusting God that even today, as an anniversary present, God will make it possible for us to be able to raise the balance of the money so that at the end of this year, as a church, be totally debt free and we can also now be contributors to others that 
require assistance. The teenage and junior churches at TOD are growing rapidly as families are committing to following a Christ-centered life. In preparing a generation that will continue the race, the children receive age-appropriate teaching about Christianity, the Bible, and the person and work of Jesus Christ. The junior church had grown in an amazing rate from a number of about 40 children in 2005 to almost 600 as a date. We are building children, the next generation of Christians who will run the race. Meanwhile, I am running to win. Another mission is to reach as many people around the world with the good news. Leveraging on technology, TOD's live streaming and video clips of worship services via social media platforms and my TOD apps have recorded over 400,000 viewing with viewers in Europe, USA, Canada, and Asia. We are a young church. We have members who have smartphones. Um, we were able to develop uh, an app called my TOD, whereby you are able to watch services on your phone, you are able to contribute because we can make comments and we can respond to your comment on the phone. People are able to pay their tithes, the offerings through mobile phones. They are able to be part of the projects that we are doing here. So we actually have virtual members, people who don't come here physically, but who watch our services, who are part of our services as technology improves. We also, you know, we're investing in technology that will make it easier for us to reach our members and maybe to reach a larger number. So my name is Ben Anwari and uh, I've been a member of TOD since uh, January 2007. I reside in the United Kingdom. Whatever is happening in TOD, way from since 2012 when I moved over to the United Kingdom, I've not missed any special session. For example, when you have long weekend programs with uh, maybe Dr. Aranshola, or Dr. Gomba Oyo, I, f I participate fully in all the programs, I take my notes. So if I'm coming back home, for example, visiting, uh, I'm not out of tune with whatever is going on. So as a member, even if I'm away physically, but uh, uh, spiritually, I participate in every program in TOD. Tabernacle of David always leads with hope first, giving back to its community through various help ministries to members and immediate community. My name is Mrs. Emmanuel Comforts. I joined COD three years ago when I got married. To the glory of God, I was privileged to be part of those that were trained in COD for the vocational training. The training went on for two good weeks. And since then, I started my business. To the glory of God, I'm fine in it. Tabernacle of David's future goal is striving harder to win the race of connecting the unconnected to Jesus Christ, building the body of Christ and growing a governing church. In the coming back of our Lord Tarris, 10 years from today, I would love to see that Tabernacle of David has actually given birth to under promise at the very minimum. On the current premises where we are, I've been trusting God for at least 10,000 members. But more than numbers, you know, I will want to see a church that is part of the community, that affects the lives of people in this community. In terms of the businesses that they do, in terms of how we live our lives, the type of children we raise up, the miracle of David, how we influence the economics, the politics, and everything around us. I see a church that is a governing church, not only in Aja, but that the influence of the church will go far beyond Aja and reach all the parts of the world. As we look around and see the beautiful church that we are part of today, we thank God that Pastor Kayode and Femi Piton and the entire pastorate of Tabernacle of David sowed the seed. Even though we have come a long way, we have not arrived. Because it's the story of the talents. To whom much is given, much is expected. 
God has been gracious to TUD. There must be a purpose for it. Where we are located, the resources that we have, the things we've been able to do, there's a purpose for it. It means life is a journey. We have not arrived, so we should not rest on our OS now and say we have arrived. We have not arrived. We should keep on striving to be better, to trust God, to live a life of holiness. We should take evangelism more seriously and see how we can be our brother's keeper, not only within TOD, but outside TOD. And finally, to say a very, very, very big thank you. On behalf of myself, my wife, and the family, and even the entire, you know, pastorate, I want to say a big thank you to all of you TOD members. Without you, there is no way we could have gotten this far. You have been very supportive. You know, you have assisted in different ways. You've been very accommodating. We really appreciate it. And the good Lord himself will reward all of you abundantly. I'm praying for all of you. When you need help, before you call for help, may God answer you. May God help you. May God prosper you. That favor upon this house shall be upon your household. We shall be well with you. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. I wish to use this opportunity to congratulate the Tabernacle of David on this milestone of 10th year anniversary. And it's my prayer that the Lord God Almighty will continue to enlarge the coast of the church. And just as the Bible says, that greater works that we will do. And I pray that greater works that Tabernacle of David will do in the name of Jesus Christ. Happy 10th anniversary, Tabernacle of David. I just want to thank God for the Tabernacle of David. And um, I pray that the God that has started it will continue. Because it's a, it's a church that has started by the Spirit of God from one house fellowship. And today this is all we are saying. So my prayer is that the Holy Spirit will continue to be with us, with the pastor, and with every vessel in the church. <laughs> May Tabernacle of David continue to be a gospel beacon, growing deeper, working closer, and reaching further for another 10 years and more until the second coming of Christ. Mm -hmm.